right, let's see what we got here. Um, 10 kilometers in 30 minutes. Hmm, not bad. What's up, everybody? This is Not So Burned in here. And today, well, this river right here, this river marks the entry border into Cartier Navigate. That's what we'll be checking out today. As I promised, I am delivering yet again in this video. Up ahead, if you continue down that road, you'll meet up with a second river that marks the end of Cartagena will get to. So this one here marks the beginning, the next river marks the end. I don't even want to keep you guys too long, man. Let's just jump straight into the video. I'll be right back. So this is Nyabugete for you guys. This is my second time recording and I have to say, the neighborhood is not as sophisticated as Kigori is or Cartier Mirai. Um, so many of the houses here seem to be built on uh, just one level. First floor. There's not too many two-story buildings. And there is not a single trace of tarmac or even pavement anywhere at all. Bye, bye, bye. Oh, oh, yeah. bye, bye. And from what I heard, uh, Nyabugete is divided into five sections. So that's uh, Nyabugete one to five. I'm not quite sure which one I'm in right now, but it's most likely the first, I think. The sun is just coming out. I'm not sure what time it is right now. It's probably 8, 8.15, I think. And I'm hoping today that I do not encounter the audio glitching that I had last time. It seems like many of the plots have already been taken here. Uh, this plot here is empty. But for the most part, the whole area has already been built. And I think it's mostly because it doesn't seem like the, uh, the two-story building policy was not being pushed so much here. <laughs> Seems like they allowed for one level buildings. The architecture in the buildings here is nothing to be so amused about. 
pretty it's pretty normal really so I guess these uh, that huge water ditch divides uh, the separate Nyabugetes from one another I think I was most likely in third so how do I cross over to the other side because those those little crossing marks do not look are not in the least bit <laughs> they do not inspire confidence whatsoever Okay, I'm going to have to go all the way down, come back up again. Oh, by the way, a big shout out to my 563 subscribers. It seems like I'm gaining a subscriber with each day that goes by. I'm super excited about reaching a thousand. Let's pray that it happens soon. So, let's see. So like I said earlier, um, Nyawugete is uh, divided into five sections. Nyawugete 1, 2, 3 to 5. And from what I see, or rather from my quick judgment so far, it seems like uh, from the main road to the lake, the roads that intersect the roads that uh, intersect the road from the main lake are what divide the five different sections of the neighborhood. So basically, I think I just came from one right now, heading on to the other. So this video is just basically, uh, I'll just, this video will basically be an introduction to Nyabugete and then I'll try and explore the area a bit more so that I can uh, just to have a feel of what it's actually really built like and then that way I can record uh, a better video this is actually my third time being here I can tell you right now it is a huge neighborhood it is absolutely impossible that I explore the whole of Nyabugete in a day it's impossible but that seems like the end I might be I might just be in uh, Nyabugete 1 right now 
And I thought there'd be enough empty plots out here since it's in the outskirts of the city, but no. It seems like uh, most, of, most of the neighborhood was already bought off. And since the two-story building policy isn't really a thing, it meant that it was cheaper to build in this neighborhood. Because as you can see, for every 10 houses, there's only one that's got two floors. And I don't know where I was last time, but there was an area that had a, a plot of land that had a signpost saying, no, <laughs> do not buy this land. It's like the owner of the land had to insist that it wasn't for sale. I'm not going to make, uh, I won't make this video too long. Uh, it'll just be a quick introduction. The neighborhood is super huge. Let's just uh, quickly travel and uh, check out the, uh, the different places and uh, call it a day. On the mountains over there is uh, Cartier Guissio. It is still under development. What I mean by that is that uh, they are still under viabilitisation, viabilitisation, that word. And I still haven't found the equivalent word in English, but uh, so basically the plots haven't yet been divided out and officially Uh, given to the owners or sold to those that want to buy. I'm not quite sure where the beginning of you know, we get to one starts and ends, but uh, from just a quick look of this area, it seems like uh, so much of the development ends on the left side. There isn't that many buildings on the right side. See that there are no buildings at all. Hmm. So the, the right side is of no concern to us right now. Let's keep to the left. If I'm in the first, there's five more up ahead. And that's a very, very long distance. And these guys live by the lake. I mean, the lake is like five, it's a five minute walk to the lake. If anything, the infrastructure in Miroir, Cartier Miroir should have been the one to be on this side. As a... Uh, there's bits and pieces of empty land here and there. Uh, the 
This looks like an apartment complex is being developed. That would be a great idea because that's what that's uh, that's what I was talking about the other time. As to what Burundi currently needs. quickly travel through the neighborhood and check out the rest of the area. There's empty land here and there. Whether or not it's for sale, it's impossible to tell. But just so you can get a clear view or a rough understanding as to what areas are available or not, I guess you might consider the video. It's a big piece here. de passage. Yeah? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is the official end of uh <laughs> I don't think I could consider this to be now we get to any more beyond this point. Nah. But let's check it out though. We are exploring. Empty land here and there, there's houses under construction here and there. Some look abandoned. Well, not abandoned, it's, uh, they haven't been worked on in a long time. Others built fences around the compounds. I guess uh, to make it official that the land isn't for sale. As you can tell though, the, the water drainage system is already in place, all over there. There's nothing else left. Everything else is complete. Let's check out this area. See what's available here. Yeah, I don't think there's any construction beyond this point. This is the end. One of the last houses towards the, the lake. There's no construction at all beyond this point. 
Hmm. Seems like we we can stretch entry. Let's see what they got going on at the very edge of There is still construction going on though. Mm. Yep, I am yes, I I I am definitely at the very edge of <laughs> yeah, we get to beyond this point is I don't know. I guess this is the side where I don't even think I'm going to be able to get to that side without turning back but this is the edge and that's the biggest water drainage system taking water out to the lake there's music coming from that side over there seems like uh let's go check it out And so every now and then you find uh, neighborhoods that are a little impossible to explore, such as Nyawugete. If I was to take a quick guess, it seems like uh, most of the land available is towards the end. Probably most likely in Yawugete 1 and 5 have the most uh, empty lands. You can see there's absolutely, there's absolutely nothing towards that side it's mostly empty my guess is it's a bit swampy so and usually the the uh, the areas closest to the shore of the lake are usually given to are usually left for resorts to develop And somebody told me that this is the main road. This is actually a road connecting uh yeah we'll get it to Kivenga. Avenue de Large connects to Kivenga, cuts through Kivenga all the way. But it is a plan that is to be under construction years from now. It won't be happening very soon. But yeah, I think I heard that from someone.
think I'm at the... Yeah, this is one of those other roads. So this is... Uh, this is yeah, we'll get to one most likely. That's two. So let me just point the camera towards yeah, we get to one so that you guys can have uh, an essence of what it looks like. So basically, on my left, if I am to take a wild guess, is all yeah we get to one i cannot confirm it but we explored the area we could tell that that was the edge of the uh if that's never get to one then we saw the edge of what you get to one is and so this will be the first uh part I'm gonna call this part one of uh, yeah, we'll get to hmm. I'm gonna make a U-turn about three times and uh, turn back so we can have a view of what it looks like from the back the lake beyond that point and yeah we'll get to one even though I cannot confirm it right now you can see bits and pieces uh, of empty land here and there This is a huge ditch though. I think it connects to a river. I'm not sure. Oh, there's the signage. <laughs> Hold on, let's cross. Y'all see the ditch? It's a huge. There's a signpost that I was talking about. Don't buy this uh, plot. If you do, you will most likely be robbed. So basically the owner is saying he has no intentions of selling and he, if he ever does sell to you, you're gonna have to double check and triple check. If that's actually the person because he swears he, he's basically swearing he's never going to sell it so this is the introduction to you know we'll get to guys whatever this is we will explore next time but for today let's keep it to the left Uh, if they don't watch out though, the construction here is going to suck. Uh.
僕はやめれないそのようにそのようにそのようにそのようにそのようにそのようにそのようにそれではまた次回。さよなら。If it was two level, two level buildings, then we would be able to <sighs> And my memory is a bit mixed up. I keep thinking I've been in some places, but then, as far as today's concerned, it seems like I've been here, but I haven't. It's just that a memory from two days ago comes back, and that confuses me a bit. And I guess if you really wanted to buy land in Burundi, you would want to contact the,、uh, what do you call that person? Uh, in Swahili, we call them Mkuamta.、Uh, That's、uh, a person that is、uh, in charge of the neighborhood. They call them something. I don't, know, I, don't know what they, I don't know what that person is called in English, but yeah. I'm pretty sure the、um, Kuam Tag guy has a list of all the plots that are on sale. He would definitely have it. Oh well. You guys wanted to explore y e a h w e g e t it, and、uh, you got it. For me, it's not at all, it's not at all that exciting. Nimtao kawaida sana. Very, very, very kawaida. Hada san, s q u i t But I guess it would even be more impressive if,、uh, if the roads were complete. Uh, we're basically going back to where we came from, and well, anyway, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and you've been watching all of my videos. Come on now. What are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button, click on the notification bell so that you may be notified every time I upload a video. This looks like apartments. And、uh, yeah. Pretty much all there is to. Yeah, we'll get there. Part one. We will explore part two some other time.
Yep, that's it. So let's hold let's head all the way up towards the main road and uh, call it the end for this video. But uh, remember to subscribe you guys. And like the video. I'm pretty sure I have gone beyond the initial 30 minutes. <laughs> I thought I'd keep the video within the 30 minute mark, but I think I've gone way, way, way beyond that. But it's cool. I'll try and uh, I'll try and cut off bits and pieces from here and there. See if I can trim it down to 30. But uh, the first part of Nyebogete is done. We will explore the right side next time. This side is done, it's complete. Hold on, let's make a U-turn. And have a quick look. Yeah. I just explored the whole of this area. And you guys uh, saw everything. We will be exploring this part next time. Then there's another part after that, and another one after that. There's four more. But as, as, far, as far as today's video is concerned, part one, Nyawugete. Look at that, the beauty of Lake Tanganyika. Yep. All right, let me head back. If there's enough battery left, then maybe I can make another video. And call it uh, Nyabugete to Centreville. Why not? If it means I get to upload two videos. Hit two birds with one stone. All right, guys, see you next time. I'm glad you were with me. Yeah, the signpost that says, yeah, we'll get to the beach, which was what we saw over there. Easy. All right, y'all, peace out.